CFR Network, CFR News. The price of living has risen like the sun, and for some, there's no means of employment. <clears throat> Pardon self. So some people just got to get it how they live, shoplifting, selling illicit whatever, burglaries, carjackings, all kind of crime people are getting themselves into. Women are turning to sex work. Women and young ladies are turning to going on to OnlyFans and all kinds of stuff due to this cost of living increase. Mm -hmm. We've had two plus years of the governments across this plane of existence, I'll focus more on the UK, paying people to stay at home and not to work and buying from Big Pharma medicine that costs the billions of pounds hmm? that has to be stored at temperatures of like 27 minus or something crazy like that. You know, giving companies furlough monies to, to again keep people there at home. And I did say, if y'all don't recall, or she just tuned into this year, I said initially right at the start, who is going to pay for all of this money? These um, zeros, ones through to nines, and all the other combinations. Hmm? They, they, they're actually printing money, are they? Quantitative easing, fractional reserve lending, the creation of money. Mm -hmm. Let's take a note out of the old wallet or purse right now. You should already know this, but if you don't, examine it. I promise to pay the bearer. They're nice, fancy, shiny notes, but these are promissory notes. Mm -hmm. And we have the people put the value on the notes. When we when people are getting these furlough payments, and when you get paid generally, you're not given physical promissory notes, are you? You are given zeros, ones, and twos in the form of a back transfer, zeros and ones and twos into your bank. And generally, especially now with what's happening or what's happened. Most transactions are done digitally or contactlessly. So no one's walking around with cash like that anymore. We 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 kind of get in the picture of this um this theater which has been played and we are part of. <clears throat> so we fast forward a little bit of time. We fast forward, we're obviously in the Gregorian year of 2022. As of uh, November the 15th, I believe us, I saw this article. Rise in paradise, this young lady. Young mother, 27, who was behind on her rent and bills as she struggled with the cost of living, took her three-year-old daughter by the hand and walked in front of the train in quest years. Leanne Melsady Richmond, 27, was in the courts over unpaid bills before her death. This is absolutely terrible. I don't even recall hearing such news February the 18th, 2019. And that was pretty early on. I mean, we're talking 14% inflation currently. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is going up. The increase here is that she had £334 electricity bill and £638 gas and rent arrears of £1,499. That's not huge amounts. It's still a lot of money. 
for this young lady to feel like there's no other option but to um to commit suicide is is awful. It's awful. And we've got the government, the governmental system, as we are given this illusion of democracy. Mm-hmm. You go back some time ago where the uh the utilities were all privatized. Mm-hmm. And for the people who are of a certain age, you will remember this situation and uh what was it? Talcid campaign uh to purchase shares within the um British gas. Well, we fast forward and we think to ourselves, okay, but the government's here, you know, and they've got laws and they've got things to govern industries within the UK to protect, yes, indeed, to protect the people, the citizens of the UK. So how on earth would the British government allow Eon, British Gas, and all the rest of these um, utility suppliers to levy such costs onto the public without them saying, wait a minute, <clears throat> we gave you access to, you know, to this market within the UK to, uh, you know, supply, air quotes, electricity and gas, you know, to be the, the, the broker and, you know, make sure that you can get the gas in and electricity in at certain costs. Then you obviously make your profit because it's all about the profits. But you can't take liberties. You can't have companies making 400% profit where people are struggling to put food on the table, to even pay rent and mortgages, where you have council buildings are shutting because... They're talking about the cost of the utility bills are too high. So workers should be working remotely. They're in increasing their home bills so they can save bills. It's just like, was it Peter to pay Paul, I think is the phrase said in the UK. Mm -hmm. It's nonsensical. It's totally nonsensical. The, the, these wicked so-and-sos are out here trying to push people to the edge. And this isn't the only suicide um, that's taken place, not just because of the, the zombie apocalypse, but because of this everything that's been done. The, 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 the constant attack on humanity and mankind, spiritually, physically, financially at the moment, is, is just, it's unbearable for some. So it's important to have a real close, close knit support circle, friends, family, you know, be as diligent as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Try and give some information, some lend some help. Try and think of ways. I mean, this we shouldn't get to a, this kind of point, but I, I think this should be a learning moment for everybody. We should be most definitely living within our means. It's nice to have nice things, but we need to have the money to pay for those, these things. They've turned the UK into this, this um, credit sort of nation now, whereas before you'd save and you'd buy things. The only things you'd get on credit would be your big ticket items. You know, you'd, you'd, your, your vehicle, for instance. And that's only a relatively new thing. You had your, obviously your HP, your higher purchase for your, your electrical goods, etc. You can literally get things on credit, anything on credit now. You've got these weird companies, intermediaries, which you'll see at the bottom of, I mean, you can go into any shop and make a £20 transaction and saying, oh, I'm paying by Kazoo or whatever the hell these brands are called. And then you break it down into four monthly payments or six monthly payments. So it, it has turned this world into, let's not, let's, whatever you want, just get it now and just get it on credit. You know, it's only £6.35, you know, a, a, a month. 
just to get the the, the shiny trinket or the uh, the latest pair of, of of runners. It's consuming and consuming and consuming, and we're in the point now where there's there's warm spaces being opened up by the council for people who who are not able to afford to heat their homes. Mm hmm. I said it. So the council are opening up warm spaces for people to to congregate. There are also smaller organizations, uh, charitable organizations who are who are doing similar things and offering free teas and coffees for people. This is this is ridiculous. Huh? How how how? <clears throat> Pardon self. This is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And we've got people out here saying everything is fine. We've got another un unelected by the people prime minister who said, oh, no, no, no. The cost of living crisis here in the UK is too much. I am not going to... Uh, to Sharm El Sheikh or wherever he was for this summit about uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop here. And then what happens? He goes out with his friends, you know, and his associates, leaves the country to have some conferences about climate change. I mean, surely with what's going on, I mean, this isn't just affecting the UK. This is affecting a lot of people across this plane of existence. Surely the right thing to do, I mean, because he's not flying on British Airways and economy or premium economy. Uh, he's probably going on a Gulfstream. You know, he's going on a private jet. All of these people are, they're not traveling as we travel. You know, <laughs> staying in the lop, the the la, luxury, 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 in the lap of luxury. That's what they're doing, and they're chilling. They're eating the nicest things. They're having, you know, what can we, you know, where can we make money here, and what's your exit strategy once you're um out of the political forefront? You know what what um links can you make over there, and vice versa. It's 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 a um it's those breakfast meeting clubs where you all meet together, put your business cards in there and and network. It's a networking event. Why didn't they do it on Zoom? Hmm? Surely they could have done all this on Zoom and and the, the, the Prime Minister, <laughs> who's not short of a bubble or two, and nor of his his wife. I mean, <sighs> come on, people, man, wake up. This politic game, birds have two wings. It's always a, a two-party system that's always in the running. Not really doing nothing for nobody. <laughs> Just finding subtle and uh, mischievous ways to uh, to levy funds and restrict people's um, movements and freedoms. This is this has got to change. This has to change. Wake up people. We're having people committing suicide along with their little children. And they're not even putting this out till two years later. Well, three years, technically. It, it's it's awful. Absolutely awful. Um, look at this little child and mother no longer here with us now because of arrears in energy and rent. This is, is, is this what they want? That will be the question. Well, surely it was just the system that kind of failed this, this family. It seems to be failing a lot of people. Hmm? What will be done. DSRE said Leanne Redmond had several debts in several forms. She was behind on our rent. Uh, she, she had lots of debt burdens. <sighs> this is it's heartbreaking. 
wake up people and try and do something uh, to affect and make change.